There is a fundamental law that governs our understanding of the universe. It is called the cosmological principle. It states that on a grand scale, the universe is smooth, random, and uniform, like a vast, endless ocean where no single wave is larger than any other. Matter should be spread evenly in all directions. For decades, this principle has been the bedrock of modern astronomy. It assures us that we live in a fair sample of the universe and that there are no special places or unique anomalies. But recently, our data has begun to suggest that this bedrock is actually a fault line waiting to break. According to our standard model of physics, monster structures, objects larger than 1.2 billion light years across, simply cannot exist. Gravity is a slow builder, and it hasn't had enough time since the Big Bang to pull matter together into anything that large. A structure that size is a mathematical impossibility. But in January 2024, the universe proved our math wrong. A PhD student named Alexia Lopez from the University of Central Lancashire pointed a telescope at the constellation Bodas. She wasn't looking for monsters, but in the deep data, she found something that broke the scale. She discovered a ring of galaxies so massive it defies explanation. It is called the Big Ring. The data confirms it spans 1.3 billion light years in diameter, with a circumference of roughly 4 billion light years. It is a structure so large it breaks the theoretical limit of how big anything can be. To put that scale into perspective, this object is so distant that we cannot see it with the naked eye. But if we could, it wouldn't look like a distant star. It would dominate our sky, covering an area 30 times larger than the full moon. It is a titan hiding in plain sight. How do you hide a structure that massive? You hide it in the dark. These galaxies are too faint to be seen by standard optical telescopes. Alexia Lopez didn't find the ring by seeing its light. She found it by seeing its shadow against the brightest backlights in the cosmos. Quasars. By analyzing the light from thousands of distant quasars, she looked for a specific signature called magnesium-2 absorption. When light passes through invisible gas clouds, the magnesium leaves a fingerprint, a gap in the data. These gaps are the ghosts of galaxies that are otherwise invisible to us. She wasn't analyzing a small sample. She looked at 40,000 distinct data points across the observable universe. When she mapped these absorption lines in 3D space, they didn't form a random cloud as the models predicted. They connected. Dot by dot, a coherent shape emerged from the cosmic noise. And this is where the mystery deepens into something truly unsettling. It isn't just a ring. When analyzed in three dimensions, the structure reveals itself to be a coil, a helix, a perfect corkscrew, aligned face on with Earth. Nature creates blobs but it rarely creates corkscrews a billion light years wide. Perhaps most damning of all is that the Big Ring isn't alone. In 2021, the same astronomer discovered the Giant Arc, a crescent of galaxies spanning 3.3 billion light years. The data shows they are neighbors sitting just 12 degrees apart in the sky at the exact same distance from us. The odds of finding one structure this big are statistically negligible. The odds of finding two of them right next to each other by the same person are effectively zero. But if you think the big ring is large, there is something even deeper in the dark, something that makes the ring look small. It is called the Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall. Discovered in 2013 using gamma ray bursts, this superstructure spans an incomprehensible 10 billion light years. That is more than 10% of the diameter of the observable universe. It is the largest object ever found. The Great Wall is a fatal blow to the standard model. It is so large that light takes 10 billion years to cross it. This means we are seeing it as it existed only a few billion years after the Big Bang. There simply wasn't enough time for gravity to build it. For a structure of this magnitude to form naturally, the universe would need to be billions of years older than we think it is. The timeline is broken. So, what built them? If gravity is too slow, we need a new mechanism. The standard model of cosmology has run out of answers. We know exactly how fast matter can travel, and 13.8 billion years is simply not enough time. 
Some physicists suggest we are looking at cosmic strings. These are hypothetical defects in the fabric of reality itself, cracks that formed when the universe cooled too quickly after the Big Bang. Like cracks in ice, they could trap matter into long, impossible shapes. Nobel Prize winner Sir Roger Penrose suggests something even more radical. Conformal cyclic cosmology. The idea that our universe is just one in an endless chain of universes. In this theory, the Big Ring isn't a structure from our time at all. Penrose predicts that supermassive black hole collisions from a previous universe would leave circular scars on our sky. Alexia Lopez herself has noted that the Big Ring fits the profile of one of these scars. We might be looking at a ghost from a dead universe. But there is one final possibility, one that moves from physics to engineering. In 1964, Nikolai Kardashev proposed a scale for civilizations. A Type II civilization controls a star, but a Type III civilization controls an entire galaxy. A civilization with that level of power would not build statues. They would rearrange the stars themselves. If a Type III civilization wanted to build a particle accelerator the size of the universe, or a beacon to signal their existence, it would look exactly like the Big Ring. Whether it is a scar from a dead universe, a defect in the fabric of reality, or a macro-engineering project built by gods, the conclusion remains the same. The universe is not what we were told. If these structures are artificial, it implies a civilization billions of years ahead of us, architects capable of moving galaxies like bricks. If they are out there, they are not just advanced, they are absolute, and yet we hear nothing but silence. Perhaps we aren't looking at random anomalies. Perhaps we are looking at the bars of a cage. The data from the Big Ring, the Giant Arc, and the Great Wall is beginning to connect. It is forming a new picture, a picture that looks less like a random explosion and more like a blueprint. We have to throw away the old maps. We are not living in the random, smooth, safe universe the textbooks promised us. We are living in a universe with structure with history, and perhaps with intent. The cosmological principle is dead. We are no longer asking if there is something out there. The data confirms the structure exists. The only question that remains is, why is it arranging the galaxies in a circle? is built on top of this assumption of the cosmological principle. So it's kind of like taking the bottom piece of a Jenga puzzle out and <laughs> the whole thing collapses. <laughs>